Welcome to this race one post-race press conference for the seventh round of the MC Insurance British Superbike Championship in association with Pirelli. It's many congratulations to our pole position man who also uh, takes uh, yet another uh, additional po set of podium credits for Quattro Plant Kawasaki, Luke Mossy. But Luke, I suspect that that safety car wasn't one you wanted to see. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. That's the, uh, that's the excuse that we didn't win the race. You know, I was, I was trying 110% the whole way and... Yeah, it did uh, mess up my rhythm a little bit, but still happy to be in the box. You know, I know it's unfortunate for Tommy, but you know we want to keep racking up these uh, these podium credits, and I think we're two points off uh, off sixth now. So our main aim is just to make sure we get as many points as we can in front of the guys in front of us. And you know, well done to Shaky and Leon; they uh, done a great race. And I was struggling a little bit with uh, the front end towards uh, five laps in. To be fair, we went with a harder tire and uh, started rolling a little bit, but I think the track's quite greasy. So yeah, same again, race two, and uh, hopefully we can come out of here and uh, the top six. Well, congratulations on the third place and the podium credit that goes Thank with you. it. And, the, of course, the championship points. Turning to JG Speedfit Kawasaki's Leon Haslam. And Leon started six, got a, a cracking start. Uh, how do you reflect on the race? Yeah, it, it couldn't have gone much better. We've had a pretty terrible weekend. Um, and after Snatterton and Thruxton as well, to be battling for the win is, uh, is where we want to be. Um, just a few areas I was really struggling with still, with uh, a few of the issues with the bike, which was just injuring me a little bit. But um, the boys did really well, um, you know, from... It's probably Saturday lunchtime. Um, I think we was 15th still, so uh, to get it up to second, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, you had a cracking battle with both Tommy Bridle and, of course, with Shaky there. Um, just couldn't quite find the edge in the end? Yeah, it was a bit of yo-yo effect. Um, you know, Shaky's was really good off the, the, the corners, the long corners, and I was quite strong on the way in and on brakes, but probably too strong. I was pushing really hard, so uh, that was obviously injuring my exit as well. So, uh, yeah, it was hard. You know, the, the laps was ticking away, and um, there was, like I say, a couple of places I was losing quite a bit of time. So if we can match him in them places, then the rest of the track, we, you know, I'm pretty happy with. As you say, especially from where you came from, great results so far. Congratulations. Thank Good luck you. for race two. Uh, turning to BYZ Ducati, Shane Shaky Burn. Is that a greatest ever start, Shaky? <laughs> Do you know what? This time I put my hands up. It's completely my fault. Basically, when we uh, when we start on the bike, the guys have some um, lights that come up that tell me it's like the optimum RPM or whatever to to try to to try to get the start. And because we have no launch control, I, I they're like the bible to me, you know. And um, Annabelle put the lights on, so I clicked the bike in gear, sat there like built the RPM up, built the RPM up, looked down at the thing, still not on, still not on. Looked up like that, looked up like that, still not on. And then the lights went out, and everyone went, and I was like, no. And I was like, just wasn't ready. I made a, a complete and utter rookie mistake, and uh, it cost me dearly because I think I was about ninth or something in the in the first lap or so. Um, I went backwards, I like don't believe. And you know, I had a I had a sort of strategy for this race. Um, I had a plan, um, as much as you can have a plan in BSB because they never really work out. But I thought that um, if I could get away and get a good start, I might be able to to run a few really fast laps initially to to maybe try and get a bit of a gap. But um, <laughs> being back in the field and uh, amongst all the guys that were kind of duffing each other up, I was like, oh no. But when the course car came out, um, I'd literally just made a pass on Jason O'Halloran um, down into Hawthorne. And um, as we came out, I saw the, the safety car flag. So I was really unsure as to whether or not I'd got through before or after the flag had come out. But um, I asked the team on the board and they, they said P4 okay. So I thought, right. Now it's just Luke, Tommy and Leon. Let's see let's see how it goes from here. But uh, fortunately, there were still 10 laps left then. And uh, my rhythm is, is quite sensible even after a lot of laps. So I just tried to, to pick my moments. Um, I saw, obviously, that, that the guys were, were stronger in some areas than I was. And obviously, Leon made a, a really, really big move into, into Paddock and went wide. And he'd done, it, he'd done it once before, but I was nowhere near close enough. And because he was riding the front so well, it was going to be really difficult to pass him. So when he done it again, I thought, I've got to try and pass, because <laughs> otherwise it's just going to make a really, really difficult race. Um, I managed to get past and then got to the front and just got my head down and, and tried to do you know four steady laps or three steady laps, whatever it was. Um, but making sure that I hit all my markers and making sure I was bang on point everywhere. And it, fortunately, it paid off. So um, I'll try to get a better start in race two, and uh, hopefully I'll make my life a bit easier. <laughs>